do you focus on when you're putting together a puzzle? Maybe you look for the edge pieces so you can mark the boundaries of the picture. Maybe you grab one piece at a time and try over and over to match it up so that it makes sense. Maybe you get stuck on that missing piece and can't move on until you fix it. Maybe you avoid that one section you know is going to be super hard. Or maybe you lose patience because it's taking so long to see the big picture. You see where I'm going with this, don't you? Sometimes our lives can feel like one big confusing puzzle. You've got one piece here and another over here and they don't make sense. Like how could they even be a part of the same picture? You've got big frustrating gaps and you just can't see where it's all going. But that's where hope comes in. Even when we don't see how it all fits together, God does. In fact, God has promised that he is working all things together for good for those who love him. Every single thing in your life has a place. Even that really weird piece fits somewhere. Yes. And even if your life feels like this right now, in the end, God will make everything right. We'll see how even the most confusing pieces fit together to form something amazing and beautiful. And because we know that God can see the big picture and is always at work, we know hope is alive. And when we choose hope, even in the darkest moments, others can see God at work. That's why hope is an amazing way to worship God with your life. Because worship is about more than just singing loud. It's all about living loud. When the night is darkest and I feel weary, I'm not alone. Cause you are A new day.
on. Come on. Ooh. Yes. Ooh. Yes. 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 <laughs> oh, did you figure it out? Yes. Brandon, I did it. After decades of attempting multitudes of algorithms, I have finally succeeded in solving the puzzle that experts have deemed unsolvable. Uh, I don't know about that. I, John of the Basement Studio, dreamer of dreams, wronger of rights, and eater of cord nuts, have entered the labyrinthian abyss and have emerged triumphant. Oh, cool. Can I see? Oops. Hey everybody, I'm Brandon. And I'm John. Welcome to the So-and-So Show. Yeah. Working on a masterpiece there, John? Oh yeah. Well, you know how I've always wanted to be an artist. Nope. It's like this voice inside me screaming, let me create, but I've kind of been ignoring it, you know, pushing it into the background. Until now. That's right, it's time. I've got to show the world that I'm more than just a guy who eats junk food and falls down a lot. I... Oh. Oh, oh. Oh, sorry. Oh, look at that. Huh. I am an artiste. Hmm. Well, this is perfect. How so? Well, because of our guest today, you'll get the chance to show off your work. Oh! Who's our guest again? You'll see. Please welcome someone who knows stuff. Oh! Hey! Come on in. Mm -hmm. Have a seat. Yeah, watch out for the floor donuts. <laughs> mm. ah. All right, so uh, tell us who are you and what do you know? My name is Kim, and I'm an art collector. Oh, very cool. An art collector? No kidding, that's, wow, you know what, I, I, I love art. I've actually been, you know what, you know what, I, 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 I like this. You know what, this is incredible. So uh, what kind of art do you like to collect? Oh, all kinds, um, mm -hmm. paintings, photographs. Pottery. Pottery? Hey, I've been working on some pottery. Actually, I'm an artiste. Mm -hmm. oh. what else? Very nice. Yes, it's an elephant. Yeah, would you, do you think this is something you'd like to, uh, you know, collect? Oh, um, wow. I don't know. Um, uh, well, it's very, uh, mm -hmm. uh, are you just starting out? <laughs> well, sort of. I mean, I've been an artist my whole life, but this is the very first thing I've actually made. Oh, uh, well, this is a great first effort. Oh, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm just not sure if it really fits in with my collection. Okay. Uh, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Cool. <laughs> I'm sorry. I hope I didn't. No, 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 no. An artist must be able to withstand the harshest criticism. This is me withstanding. Okay. So, uh, do you have anything with you from your collection that you'd like to show us? Sure do. Mm. This bowl uh -huh. was made by my daughter. Ooh. She's very new to pottery, but this piece really means a lot to me. That's amazing. Yeah, that's cool. It's really, really cute. <laughs> your daughter made that? <laughs> oh. Here's one of my favorite pieces. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. This bowl is kintsugi. Is, uh, what? It's what? Kintsugi. It's an old Japanese art form. The artist takes something broken and creates something new out of it. And uses gold to put all the broken pieces back together. Mm. Wow. Gold? Yep. That's beautiful. Yeah. Okay, but why fix a broken piece of pottery, you know? Wouldn't it be better to make something new? That's the beauty of kintsugi. See these gold lines? Oh, yeah. That's where the bowl broke. The artist has to piece the broken pieces together just right, and then use a special glue and gold 
to fill in the cracks. Wow. Kintsugi highlights the cracks and the brokenness rather than covering them up. So the places where it was broken actually make the pottery more unique and beautiful and more valuable even. Oh, wait, more valuable, huh? That's right. Kintsugi artists make something good out of something that seems bad. What is happening? <laughs> I'm making art! Uh, Kintsugi's not so much about breaking things, but rather putting them back together. Oh, that's right! That's right! Hey! I can glue this back together, and then I can make it more valuable. You got any gold? No. Hey! Let's make some more things valuable! Oh! No, no! no. A lamp! <laughs> Kintsugi! Uh, John, I don't think What about the rubber chicken? Yeah! <laughs> Kintsugi! Oh! It didn't, uh... Oh, oh! This chalk! Ready? Uh, yeah, oh! Kintsugi chalk! <laughs> okay. All right. Oh! Stuffed animal. Kintsugi. So, uh, thanks for coming on the show. Oh, the cow, the cow. Will he be Kintsugi all right? Cow. Probably. Okay. Oh, stop. Okay, Kintsugi. Oh, it broke! All right, more art! It's, Kintsugi! It's, it's Bible story time with Kellen. Art! Hey guys. Hey, I'm an artist, Kellen. Oh, are you? How are you today, Kellen? I'm doing great. And you know who else is doing great? Who? The so-and-so show players. <laughs> They're gonna be helping us out with today's story. And you can read this story for yourself in the book of John. So let's get to it. Jesus had many friends. And one of his close friends was named Lazarus. Lazarus, he had two sisters who were also friends with Jesus, Mary and Martha. One day, though, Lazarus got really sick. <laughs> Mary, where are you? Yes, my brother, I am here. <laughs> I feel. <laughs> I feel. Yes, brother? Sick. Hmm. I know. Me and Martha will write a letter to Jesus. He'll know what to do. So Mary and Martha had a message oh. sent to Jesus. Ow. Okay, <laughs> excuse me, you silly billies. Uh, I got a letter here for uh, Jesus. Ah, that's me. Oh, you have a letter from Bethany. Whoa, 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 whoa. We don't know no Bethany. No, it's the it's the town, Bethany. No, it's from uh, Mary. Oh. And um, Ma uh, Ma Martha. Martha. Okay. Martha, Martha. that's from her. Thank you. You're welcome. What does it say, my lord? Oh, our friend Lazarus is sick. But this sickness will not end in death. No. It is for God's glory. Even though his friend was sick, Jesus stayed where he was for two more days. Until, finally, Jesus said, our friend Lazarus has fallen asleep. I must go and wake him up. Boy, you sure that's a good idea? Because I mean, look, when I'm sick, I love to sleep. Like I love to sleep. So maybe he just needs to sleep so that he'll feel better. Problem solved. There we go. We ain't got to go nowhere. Lazarus is dead. What? What? Come again? What? Lazarus is dead. He's dead. Dead. Like, for real, for real? And for your benefit, I'm glad I wasn't there. But now, you will believe. Come with me. When Jesus arrived, he found out that Lazarus had already been in the tomb for four days. Many had come to comfort Mary and Martha. When Martha heard that Jesus was coming, she went out to meet him. My Rich. Lord, it is I, Martha. I wish you would come sooner. Maybe my brother would not have, would not have. Have what? Died. Ooh. But, but I know that even now, God will grant you anything you ask for. Your brother will rise again. 
I am the resurrection and the life. Anyone who believes in me will live even if they die. Do you believe this? Yes. My Lord, I believe that you are the Messiah and the Son of God. I'll go get Mary. It is I, Mary. <laughs> I just, I wish you would come sooner and maybe my brother would not. Man, I've never seen Jesus this sad. I gotta write this down. Jesus wept. Where'd they put him? Come and see. Jesus came to the tomb where they had placed Lazarus. It was a cave with a stone in front of the entrance, and a crowd gathered around outside. Right over here. Wait a minute. Are you Mary or Martha? Martha. Take away the stone. Um, but Lord, it, it's gonna smell really bad. Lazarus has been in there for four days. Didn't I tell you that if you believe, you will see God's glory? Father, I thank you for hearing me. I say this so that the people here will believe that you sent me. Lazarus, come out. Oh. <laughs> He's a mummy! Oh. No, it is me, Lazarus. I'm alive. Where's Mary? Should she be here too? Just a moment! <laughs> You're alive! I'm alive! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Jesus raised Lazarus from the dead. There were many people there who saw what Jesus did and they believed in him. The end. That's amazing. Wow. Jesus really raised Lazarus from the dead, just like that. Yep. He is that powerful. That is so cool. And to think that we can have a relationship with him today. Mm -hmm. Pretty amazing, huh? Yeah. We can put our hopes in Jesus because he is so powerful. Powerful enough to make something good come out of something bad. Just like Kintsugi. Oh, oh Kintsugi. Sure. No, not this. Well, hey, thanks for the story, Kelly. You're welcome. I'll see you guys. You know, it's so easy to forget how powerful God is, especially when times are tough. Yeah, and we all react a little bit differently when bad things happen. Yeah. So, reveal the question. Ooh. How do you react when bad things happen? Uh, do you get scared? Or really angry? Or do you talk about your feelings with someone you love? Or distract yourself with video games? Or you could eat a big bowl of cereal. Mm. Mm -hmm. No matter how you react, remember, you can have hope that God is powerful and with us through everything. I'm Brandon. I'm John. This was the so-and-so show. Hey, Kazuki. What? Hi. Okay, what do you think? What do you think? Do you think somebody will buy this? It's yeah. more valuable, right? Wow. Let's make it twice as priceless. Kintsugi. Oh. See, now it's even more. See, now they'll buy it. That's you, how you make art. You are an artist. I am an artist. That's how you make art. I... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>